Yo, VP, VP, this is the drive with Eric, with myself, Eric, obviously, and we're back for the Christmas edition. Leo to Nafanya Football, this is a show for who we see in Kenyan sport. Now, Leo, we're talking to one of the former players who played for Kenyan Premier League. I'm talking about a player who played for KCB, for Makama, for Madare, for Western Steamer, and Super Paka. Yo, I'm talking about Ronald O'Connor. <laughs> Welcome, bro. Yeah, uh, thank you, bro. Karim, sir, for the drive. Upon those who are in the Kenyan sport. So, today, we'll be talking to Ronald Bade at NBA. The next phase of his career, obviously, gonna start from Mianzisha. Yeah, definitely. Nice. So, yeah. are you ready for the drive? I'm definitely ready. Nice. Asante. I can't wait to drive in your car. Nice. Chapiana. Karibu kwa igari. Chamu sana. So, Ron, yeah. how have you been during this pandemic time? I know it's hard being, obviously, a player or former player, but it's really hard for everyone. Yeah, uh, it's been it's, it's it's been a tough period, uh, but I think uh, again uh, I, I had my own plans, especially being a former player currently. Like I had my own stuff figured out, but again I can't complain because uh, I think it's during this COVID period that a lot of positive stuff have happened in my career. Yeah, so to me, as much as it was a tough time, tough period for again most guys, most men and women alike, because even personally I wasn't even doing my my workouts. But uh, apart from that, I think. Uh, I've really experienced, uh, experienced a lot of uh, positive stuff in terms of, especially my own projects. Yeah. yeah, so to me it's been a blessing in this guy somehow. Now, when you speak of projects, I know you've certain something. Yeah. Like, could you please tell us about that, like, like where you obviously train with kids or like you're looking forward to an academy, I think RO sports or something? Or yeah. Or gold sports or something? Please. Yeah. Uh, I used to have an, uh, a dream of one day probably owning my own football academy. Yeah. And then I am also currently the founder of uh, Roads to Goals. Roads yeah, to Goals is a community-based organization. We actually re registered, we are licensed. And uh, uh, the academy, RO Sports Soccer Academy, which actually is just my initials, RO Sports Soccer Academy, RO, Ronald Code, is a program under my organization, which is actually Roads to Goals organization, because Roads to Goals organization is a CBO. We deal basically with trying to maintain, inspire, and empower the next generation of athletes, of course, with the bias in football. Yeah through different ways we try and help them get teams you know like uh, help them get sponsorship endorsement deals we're trying to you know find them you know scholarships we're trying to help them in terms of transitional planning for football what do you have to do next yeah. business financial advisory we're trying to link them up with the right professionals yeah so this is the time i thought you know what i want to now do my own things on the side and probably this to me was the right time for me now to move into the next phase of life yeah. which actually now is to push my own projects so right now I'm also the head of academy of my own Arrow Sports Soccer Academy, which are currently actually we started. We started training uh, like last week, yeah. and things have been really picking up well. Yeah. yeah. Please tell me about your football career. Where did you start playing? How many clubs have you played for? Where have you played, and for how long? Uh, I I've, I've played for for the last 13 years. Uh, 13 top, years. Yeah, top flight like, yeah, Premier League. Uh -huh. And uh, amidst that, also I started uh, playing football back in. Uh, a place called Sierra. Yeah, yeah, be yeah. yeah, because I was born in, uh, yeah. yeah, I was born in, that's where I grew up in, in Sierra County. So yeah. before I moved to Nairobi, yeah. but I was I used to play for a team back then in the NSL because in the in the NSL we used to have like different uh, yeah. divisions. Yeah. Uh, so I used to play for a team called Sierra Rangers. Yeah. Yeah, at the same time, I was still in school, high yeah. school, yeah. just around. So when I cleared uh, my fourth form, that's when I moved to Nairobi yeah. and actually realized there are a lot of opportunities. And that's when I joined Jericho All Stars yeah. from Jericho All Stars. Oh, Jerry, yeah. yeah. Uh, before Jericho All Stars, I moved to Salem. Salem, and then I moved to Jericho All Stars. From Jericho, I moved to Congo United. Congo United back then, they, yeah, I remember Congo. Yeah, they promoted the Kenya Premier League for the first time. Yeah. And that's oh, you were part of that team then? Yeah, I was part of that team, oh, but I was still a young nice. boy. Yeah. So that was my first ever professional contract that I signed oh. yeah, for Congo United. How was the feeling in the first contract? Uh, it was a very good feeling. It was an amazing feeling. Yeah. I thought things would be easy, yeah. but uh, right. unfortunately it was a very rough time, yeah. a rough part, because uh, we weren't being paid on time. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, get, even getting play time was quite difficult. Yeah, it was a problem. But I think uh, I'm lucky because it really opened up my mind yeah. because I came to face such challenges after that, but I'd already gotten used to them. Yeah. From Congo United, uh, I moved back to Jericho Stars. Jericho Stars used to be my uh, drawing board. When things don't work out, that's my home. I go back, restructure. That's where you go back to yeah. you try and, get and then I, I try again next time. Yeah. 
So after I did co moved to Jericho All Stars and then I went for trials at Bumaria in 2013. Uh, funny enough, I made it. Just going for trial. I never expected anything, but I was there for like almost a month, trying out, playing with the senior team, and I proved my worth. I signed uh, at Bumaria. We stayed there for some quite time and. Uh, we won the league, also the 2013 league, and then after that, we weren't getting that play time, so we were being moved to uh, on loan, in quotes, <laughs> but in Canada there's no such thing as on loan. no such thing as on loan. Yeah, so I moved to Mahakama, was playing no, in the... No, Mahakama, I used to like that. Yeah, yeah Mahakama, they, they, they got relegated, so they're playing in the NSL. Yeah. Yeah, so I moved to Mahakama, had a very good time. Yeah. And then after Mahakama, now I moved to Nairobi Steamer. Yeah. Nairobi Steamer. Now that's when everything just kicked off. Because from Nairobi Steamer I went to Western Steamer. Western Steamer, Madara United. Uh, Madara United moved to KCB. And then uh, now from KCB I moved to Sofapaka, which actually was my last club. Why can you say you spent your best time? Ah, that's a good question. Why I spent my best time, I think, uh, definitely Sofapaka. Because I mean, Sofapaka is more than just a football club, uh, to, it's, it's more of a family. Actually, Sofapaka sort means sorte pamoja kama familia. Yeah. Yeah. It's more than a football club. When you're in problems, everyone is in problems. So it's literally what it, it's called. Exactly. And then uh, Sofapaka and also Western Steamer, because at Western Steamer, the late coach uh, Henry Omino, yeah. uh, he actually, a coach who really believed in me. I could play rubbish over the weekend, yeah. next game on six thirty. He had he had such huge belief in me because he told me not, it's only because I want to use it, because I, I see the potential you have. I played a lot of matches in Western Steamer. That was actually my first ever, let me say, the, my, my first ever experience playing the Kenya Premier League because it's there that I got to play week in, week out. So I had a very good time with them. I had a very good time with the Western Steamer and also I can say Madara and Nigel because of also the, the professionalism that is it's in, it's, it's in the club and uh, Coach Kimanzi. Yeah. So did you ever get a chance to go abroad? Ah, let me say, let, let me call my, uh, let me call uh, Tanzania abroad. Because oh, yeah, that, that. yeah, because that's the only time I got to move out of the country. Uh -huh. But again, I went for tri for trials yeah. at a club called uh, African Lyon. Yeah. A very good club back then, playing also in the top league. Uh, even though I didn't make it, but I was there for like two or three months. Yeah. But I had the professional feel because again, in Tanzania, they tend to like appreciate their local sports more, local football. Yeah. So it was a good feeling for me. Fun exactly. I never got the opportunity to sign as much as like I wanted to, yeah. but uh, I totally changed my perception of football yeah. because I came back more hungrier yeah. and just ready to know what, to maybe give my best shot and probably get an opportunity to move out. Yeah. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. But the most important thing that really helped me was maximizing every, every opportunity that I had locally yeah. because I used to use it like, you know, I'm ne I'm, I'll never see another day like this. Yeah. So anytime I got for playing for any club, moving to any club, I really appreciated it a lot. Yeah. And now, let me ask you, how hard is it being a professional football player in Kenya? Ah, it's difficult. It's mm -hmm. difficult. You have to have a lot of re re resilience. Uh, you have a lot, a lot of. Co you, have, you have to be consistent uh, because uh, it's you against the world. Especially if you're still trying to like make your own name, you know, build your own brand. Uh, you're not maybe let me say those high-profile players that are celebrated week in week out. You have to really work extra hard. And then again, you know, with our football today no coverage, I mean, you know, no teams to, no management teams to manage our players. So, like, you have to do a lot of everything. You have to do it yourself. You have to look for a team. You know, you have to negotiate for your own contract. I mean, mentally, you have to be stable. You have to be able to, you know, take care of your own mental health and welfare. So, it's quite difficult, uh, especially for younger guys, because uh, we've seen most, let me call them talents. We call them talents. Most of them fade out of the scene so fast. Because, uh, the, the pressure is too much. The yeah. pressure is too much. Again, also for the performance, some of our clubs, you know, the problems that they face, you know, week in, week out, maybe month in, month out, guys are not being paid. So it's quite difficult. But again, uh, if you're resilient, I mean, uh, you'll just keep on going. Yeah. As someone who's been through a lot in football in Kenya, what can you tell that under 16 or 15 guy who is trying to make it in football in the future? Uh, what I normally say is one thing just be your own biggest fan. If you be your own, if you become your own biggest fan, if you're a fan, if you want to respect your, the art, you want to respect your skill, things will definitely pay up because uh, it's not a rosy uh, playing ground. Things are tough. You have to have the, you know, the heart to just continue pushing. 
So my own, my, my, the, the only advice that I normally give is be your own biggest fan. The moment you've started to appreciate yourself, you learn to, you know, to respect your art and just, you know, give it your all. Plus, one, one, another thing that I normally say is talent is not enough. Um, like, let, let me say, I normally say I'm 99% talent. No, 99% hard work, hard work. and 1% talent. talent yeah. Because uh, again, you have, you have to push yourself. You might be talented, yes, you might have all the ingredients, you might be skillful, you might be all that. But again, if you're not hungry enough yeah. to push for opportunities, you know, to work hard, to just you know, go the extra mile to achieve or maybe meet your goal, yeah. things will be tough for you. So hard work, definitely consistency and just being your own biggest fan. So one day you know you a coach of football? Ah, <laughs> me and coaching, no. Ah, yes. Me and coaching, no. Uh, currently I'm trying to do some little bit of coaching, uh, but again, not not coaching a sack, but just sharing with them my own experiences. Yeah, with the kids. I see that one. Yeah, with the kids. Yeah. So to me, it's more of just giving giving back to them. Yeah. Things that I've learned over the years. Mm -hmm. They have been, I've been coached over the years. Yeah. I'm just trying to share the same knowledge yeah. to them. But in terms of like pursuing it uh, professionally, no, to me that's just, uh, it, it will be difficult for me because right now my, I'm so focused on uh, I'm trying to be, become a club CEO and to be in a position whereby I'm calling the shots. That's the way. Ile fiako. Are you dating? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a wife? Ah, no, Why come you on, man. You can't ask that question. <laughs> Ah, Ningori. Yeah, currently uh, I am seeing someone. Oh, you're seeing someone. Yeah, nice. let, let me just say I'm seeing someone because I know she'll watch this. And yeah, why did you say you're seeing someone? Ah. <laughs> I'm seeing someone. Yeah, that's good. Bro. Now, let me ask you, eh? What car do you drive? Like, do you have a car? Yeah, I drive. You know, there's a car shop here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why I brought you by hybrid. Yeah, but I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm in a private jet. <laughs> <laughs> me, I like it, but I like this car going to work, yeah. going to see my friends, nice. going to visit of some good time, going to watch football. Yeah, yeah so uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful car. What car do you have? I drive a Toyota Spatio. Toyota Spatio? Yeah. But you're telling me you're planning to use it after Kengine and Yokozuri? Yeah, I'm planning to upgrade to a private jet like this one. Exactly, my phone, no <laughs> Lexus, but the hybrid. <laughs> it's like at a fuel size, it can go to 40 miles per hour and sign up to me a fuel. It's not to me any electric. Yo. Man, they're quite a nice car. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying the experience. Finally, we've come to the end of the show. My name is Eric, and we're going to run and occur to hang out today. By the way, we are so happy to be free to hang out with you. It's been a pleasure, man. Of course. And now, you know, to go kit, nyama lazima. Lazima. You're ready for nyama? I'm so ready, man. Guys, of course. <laughs> that is the drive with Eric. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is the drive with Eric.